Hello. Uh, I'm recording this video because I was having this problem today and uh, I, I found a solution for it and I am trying to help others out there with the same problem. I'll try to make the video as quick as I can and going straight to the point. I'm trying to compile a project on Google uh, Android Studio right now and I'm getting this error message when trying to compile the project. Error package org dot apache dot http does not exist and we can see the problem here on the uh, source file the problem is uh, the the packages that the the source code is looking for are obsolete uh, uh, deprecated so they they no longer exist if um, if we try to find the first thing we have in mind is to look for the compiler error message we're getting. Now, the uh, the solution is out there. It's basically how we search for it, uh, because you know I was having difficulties to find this. So instead of looking for the problem, uh, the, the compile error message, uh, you will find some solutions for it. Uh, search for Android developer so you will find on the uh, Google Android developers uh, site a solution and an explanation for the problem. Android 6.0 release removes support for the Apache HTTP client and they're suggesting to add these lines of code. Uh, so they want, they're suggesting to add these lines of code to your uh, build credo right here. The problem with uh, uh, adding the lines of code is not a problem it, it fixed the problem uh, but all the uh, uh, obsolete packages will have a line crossing over them uh, it, you're kind of bypassing or not really bypassing you're, you're using uh, even though it's no longer supported in the project you're still using it so I think my opinion is better if you import uh, jar files that has the source files that you need into your project so again we go back for the to the search instead of searching for the problem uh, I'm doing it like this so it helps to find uh, uh, a solution for future problems that with obsolete packages like that so uh, actually I'm sorry you wanna search for the package itself that you're this is the uh, IDE is looking for so uh, you will find where you can many places where you can download the jar files that has the packages, the obsolete packages that you need for your project. So you're going to click and download, of course, from a safe uh, uh, site. Once you download the packages, uh, okay. So here is one of them. Uh, it's a jar file, and inside this jar file, it has many other uh, packages, including the ones I need. So this is how you're going to add the uh, the uh, jar files into this system, into your project. So click on the Android tab, go to Projects. You're going to put the jar files inside this library directory. So right click, copy, left click, right click, and paste. Confirm. Now, uh, 
nothing happened by just copying the file uh, the jar file into your project you have to right click on the file and add as library so once you do that the compiler will run and you can see it uh, it's already making available these packages now uh, so we still have three more that I need so these three are inside this other jar file so you're going to copy the file into the library confirm now you're going to do the same thing making the file the jar file available for the uh, for the program so it will uh, recompile and everything and now if you try to rebuild the project it was built successful so no problems there is one more problem that happens uh, because of you copying these two files here this is important you, you're probably gonna get stuck on this too when you try to uh, to launch uh, your project on the uh, on your phone on your test phone you're going to get another error message just give it a second, it's uh, building and running. Okay, so uh, <coughs> here we are. Build failed. Uh, because I tried to send the uh, the file to to the uh, uh, to the cell phone, so the compiler the compiler is saying that uh, there are dupl duplicate uh, file copies of a license txt and some other files. So basically, it's here and here there are duplicate files. So to get rid of this uh, problem. That's the final step. Go back to your uh, Android under the build Gretel. You can pause the video to uh, and type this code here. Synchronize. and when you launch the project now it will work fine good successful uh, sometimes by just adding this file here and I try to launch it to the uh, to the phone it wouldn't work uh, for some reason I save the file with everything in place like this and I just exit the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the IDE and when I came back in it worked fine it's just some um, I don't know maybe some bug somewhere thank you for watching the video I hope it helped uh, it did solve my problem today and I'm just sharing the uh, the solution I found thank you